Hello everyone, Jared Chapa here, and today I have the Emperor series of shotguns. I have specifically, this one is the Mogul Max Ultra, and I also have the Duke Ultra. Uh, the MSRP on this one is about $700 range, depends on where you find it, and let's see what you get for the money. So this is um, a Turkish made company. There's a lot of shotguns that come out of Turkey. Uh, they just produce lots and lots of guns. They just stamp different names on it and different companies' names on it. It's kind of like an OEM vendor. Uh, this one is pre-owned, so you see some red accents that somebody painted on there. there it's not like that originally from the factory. Um, in the box, they ship you. The gun comes with like a little bird's head type grip, and they also give you this pistol grip stock that you can change it out with. And um, they do that because... In a lot of European countries, you can't have these types of weapons. They're considered, you know, military style. So the bird's head grip makes it not a shotgun. And also some of the um, states in America that are, um, that have tight regulations, same thing. They'll say this is like a military style weapon, but with the bird's head grip, it's not a shotgun anymore. So um, this one's semi-automatic. It looks really, really cool. You know, you have all, all these little cutouts here. The gun looks very aggressive. You really can't add any attachments on any of them. They're not M-Lock. They look like it, but they're not. Uh, it does have a very, very deep cuts here, and there's like a another line going all the way across. You see right here, down the middle part of the cuts? So it's a very, very sharp, very aggressive. When you're holding it like this, it really kind of hurts your fingers, so that's not really the way I would recommend to hold it. It does have Picatinny little slots on the sides and on the bottom here, and another little Picatinny section there, so definitely you should get like a vertical grip, especially with shotguns, a lot of kick on them. You can put that vertical grip there and, and kind of help hold the gun down. That's the way I'd recommend to hold it anyway, so having these cuts there, not really a big deal breaker. Um, the front, this little fancy muzzle device looking thing, it's not functional, it just looks cool. There's no, there's no vents to help reduce recoil. Um, it's not even a choked barrel, so it's just a straight smooth bore barrel. Um, the front thing here, the front of the magazine tube is just pointed, just looks cool, doesn't do anything. You know, you can't, you can't jab it into somebody's door or anything like that. Um, this side here, same thing, just somebody painted all the spots red so it kind of highlights them out. Put like a little Punisher skull there. The top part does have Picatinny rail, so you can add your um, favorite accessories. And in the box, they do give you some flip-up sights. They're, they're not spring-loaded. You just have to manually pick them up, and manually push them down. They do give you a pretty nice um, extended charging handle there. So that's nice. It'll help you uh, grab it easier in tactical situations. And it also has a last round bolt hold open. So you add an ammo. Oh, well, for some reason you gotta have like fire first. But you shoot your last shot, it'll lock back automatically. So that's pretty cool. I mean, overall, the stock does have a couple little holes so you can put your extra shells there. And it is chambered for three inches. So you can have the big three inch magnum loads. Um, it only holds about four plus one shots though. So uh, overall, just a, a decent, you know, quality gun. And there's, this is its younger brother, the Duke Ultra. So in the box, they usually give you this handle and it's pre-installed. And same thing, this one does also give you in the box the option of having that pistol grip and stock attachment. But um, very similar. Has the uh, cool looking muzzle device. Got like some pre-cut deep cuts on the side, on the front and the top. They're, they're kind of like indented a little bit, but doesn't really serve any function. Um, this one is a little more classic looking, you know, it doesn't have any kind of crazy pointed magazine tube screw, it's just basic flat. Um, it does have some ridges up and down here so you can get a nice good grip. Little Picatinny rail on the front, you can add your favorite vertical grip, use your handling. This one is pump. Pump action. Easy to rack. Um, they come with a ghost sight. So you got a circle in the back, and then the front has your little fiber optic 
It's a very weird fiber optic though, compared to most companies, like looking at it, it's not very bright. It's kind of dull. So that's something to keep in mind. But one extra little cool feature that they have is they have a pictin rail on top of the rear sight. So you can add a little red dot there. A lot of guns don't come with that. So uh, overall, just a basic level, you know, gun. Um, the, there's a lot of different brands out there. Citadels, Emperor Arms, just a quick two that come off the top of my head. Um, and again, they're all made in Turkey. So I don't know if they're made in the exact same factory or not, but they're just pumping a lot like crazy. Um, a few years ago, there were some kind of quality control issues, but they've been doing it for several years now. And um, they seem to be selling great. Every, everyone we sold never had any kind of complaints really. Uh, the major complaint, and it's true for any semi-automatic shotgun, is you need to make sure that you're using a high, they call it high brass from back in the old days, uh, load. But um, if you're using bird shot, you need to use at least 1300 feet per second shot. So it'll have enough power to cycle the bolt. And then, of course, if you use buckshot or slugs, they just automatically have enough power that'll do it. But um, sometimes you get lucky too. Like I've seen some stories of people saying where like, um, if you manually charge the gun like three to 500 times when you're bored at home, just push it back and forth. It'll help break that spring in a little bit and you might get lucky and be able to use less than 1300 feet per second bird shot. But I mean, at the end of the day, you know, if you're looking at a nice, uh, Mossberg semi-auto that's a thousand dollars and you're looking at one that's 500 you know there's gonna be sacrifices made somewhere so let me know what you guys think if you own any of these Turkish brands and what's your experience with them or would you rather just buy nice instead of buying twice just save up and buy that thousand dollar Mossberg instead thanks for watching everybody be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one